Hello! In this video, I'm going to explain how to install Spark NLP open source version in your local Ubuntu machine. Even though I'm using Windows 11 for my main OS, you can still install Ubuntu by just downloading it from Microsoft Store and installing it. Once you install it, install your Ubuntu, then you're going to have this terminal and so that you can have all the operations that Ubuntu has, I mean, Ubuntu is offering. So this can be bash, SSH, git, and etc. So let's start. I'm checking my Ubuntu version, and also I'm creating a folder for this specific tutorial. Now I can start creating my virtual environment. I prefer using Python virtual environment because I don't want to have any kind of junctions within my home directory. I recommend you using this one if you're requiring more additional information, then of course you can Google it. So Python virtual environment, and I'm going to name it Spark NLP. Now we created it. I can get activated by this command. Okay, so the environment is created and I activated it. Now it's time to check our Java version. By using this code, you can just check your Java version. You can manually pick one of them. As you can see, I'm using Java 8 as default, but of course you can just type your index number of your specific Java version, then you can also change it. You can also use Java 11. It is compatible with Spark NLP versions above 3. Point, etc. But I'm, I'm, I prefer using 8 because it is compatible with, uh, with all of them. So I'm just leaving it as it is. And now we can start with installing NumPy. Because Spark NLP requires NumPy. And after that, I'm installing PySpark by using pip command. And again, I am installing Spark NLP. I mean, this command is going to download, it's going to install the latest version of Spark NLP because this is what I intend to do. But of course, if you want to install a specific version, you can type it, I don't know, 2.4 or something. You can just change this. So, and additionally, what I'm going to do, I am going to install Jupyter Notebook because it's easier to show examples. As you know, many of our example tutorials are written in Google Colab, and apparently Google Colab is using Jupyter Notebook. So it is almost installed. Yes, now I'm gonna, I can start my Jupyter Notebook. I'm going to copy this. in here and there's nothing inside because we haven't created anything new python 3 kernel now we're inside our kernel i'm gonna move on with starting my session now what is loaded and resources is used you can see it here after that, I'm just going to import functions and so now I'm using to train pipeline and I'm going to use this model and I want to visualize the stages of this model. So this will take some time. As you can see, it's already downloading a pre-trained model from our, from our S3 bucket, and I'm going to print out our stages of this specific model. Yeah, yeah, as you can see, uh, there's a document assembler, there's a sentencer, there's a regex tokenizer. You can, of course, modify it. I mean, there are many available models in our model sub. Please check our website. I'm sure you're going to find the best fit for your, for your goals. And now we can annotate uh, this text data to our pipeline by using our pipeline. And the only thing I need to do is just printing out tokens. Those are the tokens that our model has found. And also, the 
these are the sentences that our model has extracted. And I'm not going to go further because it's not a topic of this uh, tutorial. I hope this video is useful. And uh, if you have any questions, please find us. You can type anything in our uh, Slack channel or you can send us an email. You're here to help. Good luck.